Hello. This video provides a brief overview of completing a competency-based assessment tool or CBAT. Completion of CBAT forms is required by engineering applicants applying for professional membership and licensee designation with the PEGA. Please note that completing the CBAT does not apply to applicants in the geoscience profession. For further information, please refer to the CBA guide available online at APEGA's website. Applicants can only access the CBAT forms after completing and submitting their Work Record Validator List or WERVL in APEGA's Member Self Service Center or MSSC. This screen summarizes the steps to accessing the CBAT. Engineering applicants must start an application, complete the WERVL forms in the MSSC, Submit completed WERVL forms. Only then, applicants can start working on their CBAT forms. Applicants can access the CBAT form at Step 6 of the online application in the MSSC. CBAT is one of the documentations required for meeting the work experience requirement of professional membership in licensee designation applications, which is also part of the competency-based assessment process. Please note that CBAT forms cannot be downloaded to your computer. It can only be accessed through MSSC. The information on this form helps APEGA in confirming applicants' knowledge, skills, and abilities or referred to as key competencies on this form for meeting APEGA's work experience requirement. You can complete multiple CBAT forms, however, if you are adding another record, please ensure that you have clicked on the Save All button before adding a new CBAT form. Before moving into the details of this form, please take notice of the important buttons on the top portion of the form. You can find detailed instructions on how to complete this form by clicking on Instructions button. Please remember to save your application throughout the application process. This ensures that your application is saved and is ready for submission to APEGA. Once you open this form, you will notice that you can come back to this form as long as you have saved it. Since you will be completing a number of these forms, you must ensure that you submit these forms along with other application information completely. Engineering applicants are required to submit a completed CBAT form for each of the 22 key competencies. After you have completed a number of CBAT forms, you can review each form by clicking on the Go to CBAT page button. After you have completed the CBAT forms for all the 22 key competencies, you can click on Go to Summary page to review your responses. After submission of your forms, you should check the status by clicking on the View Status button. You will also notice that there are question mark buttons throughout the form as shown on the screen. If you click on each of these question marks, you will find further information corresponding to each portion of the form. You must complete this form for each of the 22 key competencies required for professional membership application and licensee designation application. To demonstrate your level of competency, you must provide an example from your previous employment where you have demonstrated professional level engineering experience. In this example, applicant must demonstrate their level of competency in the category of Technical Competency 1.1, which is about technical regulation, codes, and standards. You will notice that the required level of competency here is 3. This section of the form shows the indicators for each of the key competencies. Indicators are illustrations of appropriate evidence for applicants to demonstrate expertise in a key competency. In other words, indicators are generalized illustrations of skills or behaviors applicants can use to explain a specific situation. The indicators provided by APEGA here can help applicants determine which aspect of their work experience may apply. Furthermore, these indicators will help in identifying your own work experience, namely a specific situation which addresses each key competency. You will also find definition and explanation for each of the key competencies on the form. Each competency must be confirmed with a validator and a reference. Validator will verify your technical abilities while your reference will confirm your employment at the identified company. Each of the lookup buttons will extract information from your work record validator list. 
In this section of the CBAT form, you must provide evidence for the competency by providing an example explaining the situation, action, and outcome. To learn more about each of these sections, please click on the question mark buttons. Please note the character limit in these sections. Since the space is limited, you must be precise and concise with your responses so that your content fits into the space provided. Situation Situation is a brief overview of a specific situation or problem. Action Action is your contribution to the situation, including specific knowledge or skills utilized. Outcome Outcome is the solution, product, process, or other outcome that resulted from your actions. If this is an example from your Canadian work experience or equivalent to Canadian environment, please indicate by clicking yes or no. After you have provided an example for each of the key competencies, you must now assess your level of competency by providing a score. This is a self-assessment of your abilities on a scale of 0 to 5. You can click on the question mark button for further information. Once you open this form, you will notice that you can come back to this form as long as you save it. You should save this form multiple times as you work on it by clicking on Save All button at the bottom of the form. Once you have completed all the information on the form and are ready to move to the next competency, please click on the Next to go to the next competency. This is the summary page which will provide you with all your responses on the 22 key competencies. Please take notice of the important buttons on the top of the page. There will be more than one page of the summary which will include the following information. Whether your experience was in Canada or your experiences from an environment that is equivalent to Canadian climate, codes and standards and workplace practices. Your self-assessment score. Minimum score required by a PEGA. At this point, you would not have received any validation scores, which is why the section will be blank. You can click on any one of these boxes to go to the respective competency page. To illustrate an example, this is a summary report generated for the non-technical key competencies. The highlighted portion of the screen shows scores entered by the applicant as well as the minimum scores required by a PEGA for each of the key competencies. The average score for each competency category are also highlighted on the screen. This summary report indicates that the applicant has met the minimum scores for each of the key competencies and the average for each of the competency categories. To submit all your CBAT forms or your responses to the 22 key competencies, please click on the Go to Submission Page button. This is the submission page for all the CBAT forms you have completed for the 22 key competencies. To review your responses for the various key competencies, please click on the Go to CBAT Page button. To print a copy of the CBAT forms or save a PDF version of your responses on your computer or desktop, please click on the Save slash Print button. To successfully submit your CBAT forms, you must click on the Consent box, sign electronically by clicking on the box, type your full name as it appears on your application, and click on the Submit to a PEGA button. Please note, that you will be able to make changes to the CBAT forms after paying the application fee in step 12 of the application in order to then submit the form a final time. However, you cannot make any changes to your responses in the CBAT forms for the key competencies after a PEGA has received confirmation from your validator in a competency. Just for your information, your validators have to provide their confirmation by completing the Validator Response Form or VRF.